Check out this video so I'm swinging my 6 iron and right at impact the club snaps. So far that happened to my 6, 7 and pitching wedge so I'm currently down 3 irons. Keep in mind these clubs are over 10 years old and rust started to form inside hence why it snapped. But since we're on the topic on this, I have to get something off my chest. I've been getting some hater comments about my wear marks but it's 100% real. 6 iron, real. 8 iron, real. 4 iron, real. It's not no tiger wear mark, but still. Anyways, getting to the main point. So if you're thinking what I'm thinking, it's time to drain my bank account. Oops, wrong button. It's time to buy new clubs. My requirements are pretty simple. I'm only looking for three things. Look good, feel good, and perform good. And so far, I'm in between three clubs, which are the Srixen ZX7s, Mizuno 243, the Ping Blueprint S. But here's the catch though, the price. Bruh. Since when did golf fines cost more than rent? I knew inflation was bad, but I didn't know it was this bad. Hello America! Actually, let's look that up. So my current irons released in 09. Nearly 15 years ago, it's the Tireless AP2710 and the retail price was $9.99. Fast forward to now, 2024, the new Tylus T100s cost $13.99, $400 difference. I don't know about you, but to me, $9.99 seems a lot more attractive than $13.99. Thing is, I'm not really loyal to any brand, I'll play whatever that look good and feel good. So before I pull the trigger, drain my bank account, pull out 15 Benjamin and possibly not paying for rent. I did a little bit more research and what I found was direct to consumer clubs. I mean it kind of makes sense why I never heard of them because it's not in big retail stores but still I don't really hear big buzz about it online besides the Tacoma irons. I mean look at these. Ben Hogan Icon irons absolutely beauties and only costing $8.50. Sub 7659 TC irons only costing $6.60. McGregor MT86 combo irons only costing $700. Haywood CBs costing only $5.50. Also the prices are not final in these clubs it will vary based on the specs you have just wanted to let you know because i got fooled too the only downfall is i can't test these out unless i order a demo club but since i'm balling on the budget just off the price and looks alone i'm sold but the performance is still up in the air and this is why i need your help if you ever tested these d2c clubs or have any recommendation please leave a comment down below if there's an overwhelming response for a particular set I'll make sure to go order a demo club and test these out. I'm curious to hear your thoughts about these two C clubs and if they're worth it or not. Or should I just stick to big brand clubs? So please leave a comment down below. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. Stay tuned for the irons I'll put in the bag this year. That's all I have for you today. It's your boy. I'm your boy. Peace.